something fresh. It's a little bit of a French twist. It is the secret to eating happy and staying healthy without ruining your diet or making you fat. And joining us this morning to talk about it, certified nutritional consultant Carol Cottrell. Thank you so much. Thank you, Great Amy. Great to see you. Great to and see you. And congratulations on your book, which Thank made you. the big debut this week called The French Twist. Yep. Thank you. Tell me, first of all, how you came up with the concept for the book. It was a personal journey, really. Um, I had a nutritional practice, and I found that my clients were at war with food. And I traveled to France, and the French were having a love affair with food. We were winning this war. We were, we were losing the war, Americans, and the French were, they didn't even know there was a war. And so that started the whole process. How do they do things differently? Give me some ideas of how things are different over there. I think the biggest thing is that they have a very relaxed attitude about food. So where we eat on the run and for convenience, they take a lot of pleasure in preparing, shopping, eating. Their, their lunch hours are much longer. Uh, they insist on real food. What about the grocery shopping? Do they go to the store like we do on the weekend and stockpile with a cart full of food and then hope that it lasts all week? Or how do they do things? No, they really, you know, the fresh food dominates their plate. So if you look at a French plate, three quarters of it is going to be French or, or, or going to be fresh and probably a vegetable. So um, as opposed to us, where maybe we have a bigger serving of meat, a lot of bread, they, their, their meals are dominated by fresh uh, ingredients and so they shop for them daily. How does that then impact the overall lifestyle, the culture, their weight, their overall health and well-being? Well, I mean, obviously, but eating all those fresh fruits and vegetables, it's going to make, there's, there's no discussion that uh, people that eat a lot of vegetables have a healthier life. And so they do that. I mean, we think about the French as eating bread and cheese, and they do eat moderate amounts of that. But from when they wean their children, they're introduced to seven or eight vegetables from the time they're weaned. How do we force ourselves then to sort of take what we're learning from them? Because they do have a much more laid-back lifestyle than mm -hmm. we do. Here, everything is rush, rush, rush. We rush through the drive-thru. We rush home. We, fin we eat it as right. fast as we can. we got to run to soccer practice and then gymnastics. And it, we're so crazy. And I think it is, that is really to our detriment, isn't right. it? Right. Absolutely. And I was just talking to somebody in the green room about this, about the fact that uh, the French, when they have a snack, they'll sit down and they'll have a piece of bread and some brie. We will go for a processed bar, a processed granola bar, and think that we're doing the right thing because we've determined that this food is bad and high caloric, when in fact they're better off with the real thing in modest amounts. All right. We have so much to learn from this book, so make sure you pick this up, The French Twist. And you can find this just about everywhere, right? Well, it's on Amazon. Okay. Yeah. That's Amazon. the best right there, the best source. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank Carol, you. as always. always it's a pleasure to talking to you. Congratulations Thank on the you. release Thank of you. your book. All right.